Some areas of North Carolina are already dealing with high water, but the flooding is expected to increase after our current storms. Nine of your side's Ford Sanders continues our team coverage now with preparations for more flooding in Lenore County. The Noose River in Kenston is inching closer to roads with every hour of rainfall. People living in Lenore County say this is nothing new, but it's worrisome every time it happens. Turn around, don't drown. Lenora County's waters are rising as the rain falls. Emergency Services Director Jerry King says they're monitoring rivers and roads. This is something that unfortunately the Lenore County residents have become quite accustomed to. People in Kinston say they've seen flooding before, but this week's high water is something of a surprise. Before you know it, it'll be up there to the park. It's odd because I don't, I don't remember it, even during the hurricanes being like this. It's just, it blows my mind. This is the Exchange Nature Park. It's one of the lower lying areas of Kinston, and it's usually among the first to close. If you see water crossing the road and you cannot see the lines on the road, do not attempt to drive through it because you don't know the depth of the water. Kinston Planning Director Adam Short is hopeful the water won't go too high and that people will avoid it when they see it. We're very concerned, obviously. I mean, once you get into the moderate flood stage and, and get into the major flood stage, you know, with, with every inch of additional water, we get more and more impacts. So at this point, at least for my department, cautiously optimistic. City and county officials don't expect any major impacts from flooding, but they say that people should stay out of closed areas. After all, they're closed for a reason. In Kinston, Fort Sanders, 9 on your side.